Hi, hi. How are you? How are you today? Hello. How Hello. are you? How are you? How was your day? Very good. Nice, nice, nice. Nice. What about the traffic? What's the traffic like today? Mm -hmm. Terrible. 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 Terrible, I imagine. I imagine that the traffic must be terrible, right? Wow. Yeah, I, I was, a, I have been home. I came very early today. So I have no idea about the traffic, but how was it? How was the traffic all day? Hmm? How was the traffic all day? That's the traffic, I see. Who's your traffic now? Yeah. Hello, teacher. Hello, Cecilia. Hoy manejando ahorita, teacher. Okay. Sounds like if you are about to fly with the wind, Cecilia. Well, I was actually, actually asking about the island. Okay. Okay. Well. So that answered my question, right? About the traffic. Difficult traffic. Yeah, I could imagine that today it was going to be a very hard and heavy traffic because of the date, right? People are outside celebrating. So that is a good reason for the traffic. Okay. What about you? Have you been celebrating or the weekend will be better time? Uh-huh. Have you been celebrating today? No? No, yes, teacher. Until the weekend. Mm -hmm. Okay. Bueno, I'm going to share uh, the screen with you. Today, as I said, well, this is, okay, this is uh, our session number 15, right? We're about to finish. We finish another week today. And remember today, I'm going to be checking in, Unit three, right and way to finish collecting the grades for unit number three. Video conference number 15. 15. And that's the objective. The students will be able to review unit vocabulary about communications in the workplace. Remember, uh, yesterday we were talking about etiquette, we were talking about uh, vocabulary related to emails, the communication, checking some vocabulary of the unit, and today we continue right on the same way. So we're going to finish checking or reviewing unit number three. So tomorrow we will be ready to start the unit number three. I'm sorry, who said present? Oh, okay, my name is. But I'm going to stop sharing to call the attendance. Let's see. Tell me present, right? 
Amanda Yesenia. ¿Más bien? Carlos Alfredo. Presente. Nice. Cecilia del Carmen. Cecilia. Por ahí va Cecilia. Eh, César Antonio. César. Claudia Ivón. Jacob. No más, Jacob. Jonathan. Jonathan. José David. Juan Antonio. Present. Juan Carlos. Carla Janet. No, Karen. Karen. No llega Karen. Carla Yamilet. Carla Yamilet. No. Catherine Bridget. Present teacher. Nice. Connie. Connie. Este, me dijo Juan Carlos que es necesario abrir el. Silvia, are you talking to us? No. Okay. Good evening. Hi, good evening. Who said good evening? Cesar. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Eh, Connie Stephanie Marco Rubén Present Minor Sandra Elizabeth Silvia Estela Silvia Estela Silvia Inés. Present teacher. Tatiana Beatriz. Tatiana. Oh, Tatiana. Eh, Catherine. Present teacher. Nice. A ver, I'm going to call the people who were not here when I call you, so you tell me if you're here, right? Amanda Yesenia. Present, Miss. Present. Nice. Cesar. Present. Jonathan Asdrubal. Jonathan. Jose David. Jose David, no here. Karen Leticia. Carla Yamlet, Pony, Sandra Elizabeth, Sandra Elizabeth, Silvia Estela, present teacher. Okay, bueno, estamos. Let's see how many we are now. Right, great. Well, we are 13, right? Thanks. Nice, nice. My share again. Um, remember yesterday we were talking about some, uh, we can say rules, right? Some things that we should work or should do at work because that's part of etiquette. What is etiquette? 
What is etiquette? It's Sin a boiler. Hmm? It's a boiler. Okay. Como, hello, saludar. Aha, uh -huh, that is part of the etiquette, like saying hello, saying good morning when you enter to a place, right? It's a group of norms, right? A group of norms or rules that we have that uh, the society will agree, right? That that's okay. So that's part of the end. Mm -hmm. What other examples of things the shoe we should do at work are like part of our etiquette? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. What are some rules at work that we should respect? Mm -hmm. We have some here, right? Remember? Don't come to work sick. If you're sick, you shouldn't come, right? Especially if that is an illness that can be communicable. That's how we call it, right? Communicable illness. If you have a communicable illness, mm -mm, you shouldn't be at the office. You shouldn't come because people may get sick. Yeah. Okay, people may get sick too, right? That's why we shouldn't come. Now, let's see. We have another one. It says, at all costs, avoid being late. And the rule that we have there using shouldn't, remember that's a structure that we were using yesterday, you shouldn't be late, right? So pay attention to these things at the end, you will make your own manual of etiquette, including the things that you consider important, right? Pay attention in meetings. That's another point, another uh, Thing that will be considered in the manual of etiquette, pay attention in meetings, and check the rules. It says you should pay attention in meetings. You shouldn't talk with another person in the meeting, right? Okay, question up to here. Question, no question? Mm -hmm. Okay. And rule number three, or number four, sorry. Remember your boundaries while at work. Be careful what you can share, what you cannot share, right? What is okay for, according to the, the, the regulations of the company, what is okay that you share with other people and what you shouldn't, right? That's a part of respecting boundaries. What are boundaries? Do you know the meaning of this word? Hmm? Do you know the meaning of that word? Boundaries? Yes or no? What does it mean? What does it mean, boundaries? Who knows? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Boundaries are limits, right? Respect or remember your limits, right? What are the limits, the limits that you may have at work? And you should be careful with those limits, right? Now, number five. Watch what you put on social media. You should be careful about things you post in social media. Remember that uh, you have to know what are the things that you can share and what are the things that you cannot share. 
Okay. Any question here? No. And number six, emails can be misconstructed. So you should watch your tone when writing. Remember we were saying about not using capital letter, right? Because that means like shouting to people. And be careful that you shouldn't reply to all. Because if not, the same email is going and coming to everybody. Okay, please clean up after yourself. You should make sure that the office is not naughty and you shouldn't leave the naughty, right? You shouldn't leave a mess. So clean up. Clean up. I'm just reviewing, chicos, what we started yesterday, right? Just making a review. Okay. Go, Sandra. Now, let's see. Be courteous. What's courteous? In one example here is of the coffee, but also uh, when being courteous at work will be like when you see somebody has who needs help. Offer, right? Offer help, be empathic with the person. Okay, number nine, respect your coworkers' privacy. If you need somebody's help or you need to get to somebody's office, but the door is, is closed, remember to knock at the door, not just push the door, right? That's very important. And check, you should always knock before entering a worker's office. Never read the other person's emails. You shouldn't read any information that is not yours. And you shouldn't touch anything without permission. And as number 10, freedom of speech. Um, just watch what you say, right? You shouldn't talk about religion politics or sports would be another possibility, right? Because people may get angry and you may get in trouble if you touch those topics. Questions? No questions? No. Mm -hmm. No questions there? How about the rules? Bash. Remember, we're talking about etiquette and we're talking about rules. So what you're going to do here in this exercise, look at those situations and please write suggestions for each of the situations. Check. Sarah never stops chatting on the phone when we have lunch. Hmm. What should she do? Remember to you should or shouldn't, right? What should she do? What shouldn't she do? My boss does not like to walk to my desk when he needs something. He shouts at me from his desk. What should the boss do? What shouldn't he do? Remember, we're talking about etiquette at work. We're talking about what is what we should and what we shouldn't do. And then number three, Jimena and Susan take many selfies when they are at work. Hmm. What should they do? Pablo posts the sign not a good time in his office door, so his team does not talk to him. Hmm. What should he do? Graciela always signs her emails with an emoji. Oh, that's the emoji. So should she do that? If you say no, she shouldn't. And you complete the sentence. Okay? Remember the instructions are give a suggestion. How about the following behaviors? That suggestion can be affirmative or can be negative. Right? So you can, you should. Or you can use shouldn't. Any question there about what you're going to do? Questions? 
No? Hello? No questions? No questions. So, nice. Well, let's go. I'm going to send you to groups. Join a group, do the exercise, and then we will check. Try to join. Join, join. Vamos, Claudia, Ivon, Patrick, Minor, try to join, Cecilia, Silvia. Try to join, Ceci, Minor. Juan Antonio, try to join. Silvia? Claudia. Silvia, la voy a mover también. A ver, suele aparecer hoy. Nice. Bridget, hello. Chequen si les aparece la invitation para que se unan, por favor. No, teacher, no aparece. Ah, bueno, vamos a ver. Bridget. Bueno, la voy a mandar a tu grupo, cheque si le aparece. Bueno, ve a Minor, si hoy sí logra unirse. Hi Karen, I'm sending you to room number one. Check it. Check if it appears to you. No, teacher. Me apareció, pero este se desapareció. no permite llamar en Teams cuando le da eso uno okay. lo llama pero aquí no se puede uh -huh. oh. sorry Karen. la mandé al 2 para reenviarla al 1 de nuevo pero en las sí el 2 ya lo tengo bien lleno y el 1 uh -huh. está bien pobre. Lo voy a mandar de nuevo al consumidor. Cheque, Silvia. Hi, hi. Hi, Miss. ¿Cuál ah, página de... es la del libro? Perdón. Ya le digo. Perdón, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Wait, give, give me a second. <laughs> ok. Es que no le pongo a la presentación, no le pongo ningún no, okay.
Uh, it's page number 38. Gracias. Eh, Pueden decirme qué, qué vamos a hacer. Lo siento, pero yo voy de camino a casa. Y voy en, en transporte. You have to write suggestions for each of the situations then. Uh, thank you. We are just uh, two. Should, exactly. Okay. Thank you, exactly. teacher. You have to use should. Thank you. You're welcome. Did you see the exercise you're going to do? Yes, yes. Hola. I'm so sorry, but I can't see the book because I I need the other. Y Amanda, Amanda, hello. Hi, Miss. Hi. Are you here? Uh, yes. I have unit three. Pero no, no encuentro don, las que usted puso ahí en la pantalla. Page 38. 38. 38. Exercise five is the last one. Ah, ya. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I get it. Thank you. Okay. Vaya, Silvia Inés is here. You are four. Amanda, Sandra, Cecilia, and Silvia Inés. Yes. No, yo no le entiendo, compañero. Me dejar me voy a desconectar. No entiendo nada. Marco, 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 wait. ¿Qué pasó? Ok. ¿Qué es lo que no entiende? Vamos a ver. No sé. O sea, entiendo que tenemos que hacer la, la, la parte 5, ¿verdad, teacher? De la unidad 3, del... Dice, write a suggestion about following behaviors. Sí. Ajá, y les estaba explicando que, por ejemplo, en la primera dice, Sara, never stop cheating on the phone when we have lunch. Entonces podría ser Sara should stop cheating of the phone when we have lunch. Uh -huh. Exactly. Uh -huh. Y la otra le dije, eh, my boss doesn't not like to walk to my desk That's when he idea. needs something. Mm -hmm. He should have me from his desk. Y ahí podrían ser dos. Eh, podría sí. ser my boss shouldn't at me from his desk y el otro podría ser my boss should walk to my desk when he needs something mm -hmm. exacto Eso estaba ahí explicándolo pero se desconectó el compañero y no sé quién más estaba aquí con nosotros ahí está Carlos Alfredo y Minor pero no sé si están o no están eh, Minor me estaba bueno estaba escribiendo pero estaban dos compañeros más eh. No me fijé quiénes eran. Carlos Alfredo, hello. Hello, teacher, aquí estoy. Porque tuve, tuve una inconveniente, por eso no había podido estar de lleno, pero ya estoy acá. Okay. Perdón, lo siento. <coughs> ok, este... Ok, Maino. 
Y que mañana va escuchando. Y va en el bus, sí, se va para. Uh -huh. Pero igual, o sea, entiendo que solo hay que ponerle eso, ¿verdad? Sí, o sea, el... sí, solo es, re, es re, cuando dice recommendation, solo van a usar should o shouldn't, así como los ejemplos uh -huh. que usé antes. Ajá. Solo da recomendaciones, que es lo que esta gente, según el comportamiento que ahí muestra, qué es lo que deben y qué es lo que... Lo no, que no deben de hacer. Uh -huh. Exacto. Okay. Bueno. En la tres sería Jimena y Susan shouldn't take many selfies when they are working. Jimena y Susan. Uh -huh. es... La 3 es verdad. Sí, la 3. Sí. Ahí yo más acá recomendaciones. Uh -huh. sí. Solo hay que ocupar el shoot o el shooter. Ajá. Debería. Teacher, y el verbo post, es, es, es un verbo, es post, postear o poner. Postear. O algo. Sí, sí. Y entonces para, para hacerlo este, en primera persona, solo se le quita la S, la última. Verás. ¿Cuál? La, la, a la, la cuatro, four, ¿verdad? No. Pablo Post de Stein, sí, solo le quita la S. Entonces ahí sería Pablo Shuren Post de Stein. Uh -huh. It's not a good time. Uh -huh. Yeah, Shuren Post. Shuren. Pablo Post de Stein. ¿Cómo se dice este verbo, teacher, de las cinco? Graciela, always. Science. 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 Science or emails with the emoji. Children, science. Children, science. The email. Graciela, always, science. With email. Mm -hmm. With the emoji. Joy. Ya vería. El shouldn't que vamos a ocupar ahí. Ajá, ahí sería shouldn't. Mm -hmm. O sea que no debería. No debería. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Mm -hmm. <coughs> Solo esa parte The office door Post The office Door Debería remover Debería remover La oficina uh -huh. Perdón Voy a remover el, el, el letrero, el anuncio. Ajá. Uh -huh. Eso. Esto. Ok, la quinta. Gabriela siempre. 
Y la última. ¿Quién reutiliza su. Gabriel Gabriel. Su correo. Aquí sería ponerlo como shooter. Ella no debería firmar con. Not, uh, ella, digamos, she should, shouldn't see her emails with the emoji. No, oh, sí, sí. Y el cinco, lo Sí. Sí. Solamente a la, a cinco preguntas. Only number five. Yeah, only, only. Did you finish? Yes. Yeah. Excellent. Let's go, team. <clears throat> Let's go. Nice, nice. Ok. Para saber. Ok. We have here some situations. Well, all the situations are negative, right? Because these are things that we should not do at work. Let's see. Who wants to give me a suggestion for number one? Sara never stops chatting on the phone when we have lunch. Sara uh, should stop chatting on the phone when we have lunch. Exactly. She should stop chatting on the phone. Uh -huh. Thank you. Thank you, Karen. Who has another suggestion for Sara? Uh -huh. Another suggestion for Sara. Yes, yes. The same suggestion for Sarah, teacher. Okay. You know that you can do it in negative too, right? So you can say, Sarah shouldn't chat. Shouldn't chat when we have lunch. Okay. Now let's see situation number two. My boss does not like to walk to my desk when he needs something. He shouts at me from his desk. From his desk, right? Yes. Okay. My boss does not like to walk to my desk when he needs something. He shouts at me from his desk. What do you suggest for your boss? My boss should walk to my desk when he needs something. Mm -hmm. Or my boss shouldn't show at me from his desk. Exactly. He shouldn't shout at me. Nice. Situation number three, Jimena and Susan take many selfies when they are working. Jimena and Susan. Take many selfies when they are. They, they shouldn't take selfies when they are working. Mm -hmm. Exactly. They shouldn't take selfies when they are working. Nice. Mm -hmm. And number four, Pablo posts the sign. Not a good time. In his office oh, yeah. floor. So his team does not talk to him. What do you recommend to Pablo? What do you recommend to Pablo? He should remove his post from the office door. Exactly. He shouldn't post that sign in his office door. Or Pablo should assign not a good time 
in the hour the lunch. <laughs> okay. If he wants to sleep, right? If he wants to sleep, <laughs> like, like not a good time. I'm, I'm out. <laughs> I'm sleeping. But not all the time. Imagine. Okay. Thank you. And the last one, Graciela always signs her emails with the emoji. What does that emoji mean? Is this one, right? Like, like, like this. <laughs> uh -huh. Graciela always signs her emails with the emoji. What do you think? What do, do you suggest to Graciela? She should. She shouldn't. She shouldn't. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. She shouldn't. Uh, write with emojis. Mm -hmm. She shouldn't sign with emojis. Right? What, do, what do you remember about a good salutation at the end? Of, well, you wrote an email. How do you have to say goodbye in the email? Do you remember? You sign with your... It's, it's informal, teacher. If yeah, you that's put... informal. Definitely very, very informal. You can send an email with that emoji to a very close friend or to somebody in your family, but not if you want to write a formal email. Because we have to close an email with a, our name. Right, name, last name, the name of the company, the remember some information that people could use to contact us, right? That's what we can use in that case. Nice, nice, nice. Thank you. That was closing suggestions, right? Suggestions using should, shouldn't, should, shouldn't. Okay, now. Going back to the paragraph we were writing, we were reading yesterday about good etiquette at the workplace. Uh, let's read it together. Let's see later on after we read all the 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 etiquettes here. Good etiquette at the workplace. We are going to take. We're going to summarize, summarize five etiquette guidelines that you find in the article. What are some, well, five etiquette guidelines that we have in the paragraph? Remember yesterday you were answering the questions, but today we're going to do that. The last thing, and it's summarizing the guideline. Let's read it together, right? There are many workplace etiquette guidelines that the most important is to be punctual to your office. If you are late because you had an emergency, that is okay. However, habitual late comers are never, never appreciated in any organization. If you get to your office on time, you show that you are responsible and you respect the organization. If you show that you will be late, if you know that you will be late, then a good etiquette guideline will be to call the concern authority and report the reason why you were late. Etiquette is also important when you have a comment, when you have to communicate with employees or clients in any part of the world. In those cases, it is necessary to have good knowledge of the workplace email etiquette of other countries. In the official emails, you need to mention the subject clearly and be concise. You also need to include all the important details. You should use formal and grammatically correct language for emails. No emojis, right? No short words, no abbreviations. 
Okay, in addition, knowledge on telephone, knowledge of telephone etiquette in the workplace is very essential. We have to speak on the telephone at some point during our daily work. Be polite when you talk to your employees or your supervisor. Listen to what they say carefully and do not interrupt. Be sure your voice is clear when you speak to avoid wrong interpretations. Etiquette or etiquette guidelines are important even when you're celebrating with co-workers. If you get a call when you are eating, say excuse me and then receive the call. Do not talk loudly while eating and remember to close your mouth when you should. You should remember that your behavior and manners are under observation. Following etiquette guidelines can play a very vital role for future promotions. If your boss sees that you can behave, hmm, just say hey, you may get a future promotion. Who knows? Who knows? Okay. Now, going back, right? Going back to uh, do this. Ready? Tell me if you have questions about the vocabulary here. Questions? Mm -hmm. About vocabulary, pronunciation. Yes. Miss, después en la, en la primera fila dice etiquette guide, guidelines. ¿O cómo es? Guidelines. This one? Guidelines. Guidelines. Etiquette, etiquette guidelines. Mm -hmm. Etiquette guidelines. Etiquette guidelines. guidelines. Okay, thank you. Okay, welcome. Punctual, right? Punctual. Pun punctual. Appreciated. Appreciated. Repeat. Appreciated. Appreciated. Organization. Organization. Emergency. Emergency. On time. What does it mean be on time? What is on time? Who knows? Mm -hmm. Estar a, a tiempo. A tiempo, exactly. On time. Responsible. 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 Yes. Concern, concern, repeat, concern, authority, authority, right, authority. Do you understand the meaning of the word concern? Yes. Is it clear for you? Concern, authority? Yes. Concierne, teacher. Es como el es su jefe a quien le concierne. Es la autoridad con, correspondiente. Competente. Ajá. Uh, Ajá, la correspondiente. Boss. Because remember that we have, uh, sometimes in, in a company, we may have more than one boss, right? But there is one that is like the immediate. Then that's the one that you should go in that moment. Mm -hmm. For example, if I get late to the school, I won't call the, the, the principal. I will call the coordinator, the floor coordinator, right? So she knows I have a problem because she's the one that is there, close, and she will see what she can do, right? So that's the concern authority. The person who is like the immediate authority that you need to call. Okay, and let's see, communicate. Repeat, 
communicate. 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 Necessary. 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 Knowledge. Necessary. Knowledge. No. Knowledge. No. Knowledge. No. no. <laughs> Hagan la, la, el sonido nasal tipo Shakira, vea. Knowledge. 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 Workplace. 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 Official. 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 Clearly. 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 Concise. 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 Grammatically. Grammatically. Language. 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 Any questions here about vocabulary? Questions? No? Yes. No, yes. Addition. 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 When you say in addition, o sea, aparte de lo que ya dije, hay más, right? So I want to add more information. Then we use in addition, right? In addition. Workplace. 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 Mm -hmm. Telephone, telephone etiquette. Telephone etiquette. Workplace. Workplace. Essential. 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 During. 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 Polite. 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 Employees. 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 Supervisors. 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 Carefully. 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 Interrupt. 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 Sure. 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 Boy. Sure. Boys. Wrong. Boy. Avoid. 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 Wrong. Avoid. Wrong. Interpretations. Interpretations. Interpretation. Celebrating. 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 Co workers. Co workers. Co workers. Co workers. Yeah. Loudly. Loudly. Louder. Loudly. 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 <laughs> Loudly. Mouth. 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 Remember. 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 Now. Remember. Now. Now. Shoe. Now. Shoe. 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 Should. Shoe. Should. 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 Should behavior Should. behavior 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 manners manners observation 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 vital vital future 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 Promotion. Promotions. 
promotions. promotions. I want you to see something. I'm going to change for the pen. And I want you to pay attention to this. Check it. Interpretation. The stress is in te. Siempre que una palabra termina en shon, se han fijado en español, el acento va en la O, ¿verdad? En televisión. ¿Sí? But in English, no. In English, as we don't have acentos, we have stress. El estrés es la fuerza de voz que se da en una sílaba en particular. Entonces, en este caso, cuando tenemos una sílaba que va o que precede la terminación shon, como en el caso de interpretation, el estrés va a caer aquí. En che. Ahí decimos interpretation. Interpretation. Observation, observation, promotion, promotion, observation, interpretation, observation, promotion. Quiero ver, creo que hay otra, ajá. Organization, organization. Organization. Any question here? Question? Vocabulary, pronunciation. Mm -hmm. Any questions? Okay. Observation. Any questions? Question. Le no, hablamos del mismo es this question. Any question, miss? No question. Nice. Vaya, checking. As we read here about etiquette, see? What you're going to do in this exercise is summarize. Summarize. El total son cinco etiquettes. Etiquette guidelines, las que se mencionan allí. Suma, summarize. ¿Verdad? Si en, redúzcame todo el párrafo en una oración. Uh -huh. So you will have one here. A two. Probably a I'm fine. These are uh, the points, right? The five etiquette guidelines that we may find in the app. Okay? Right, I'm going to send you to the rooms. I'm going to give you a couple of minutes for you to check. I'm going to remake the groups. Asha, vamos. Ya llegó. John, John. Join, John, John, John. Nice. Try to join Cecilia, Silvia, and Maya. Si no se logran unir, eh, pueden hacer su grupito acá, ¿verdad? Y, y discutir aquí. Y cuatro que están no, no pueden. Como cinco, uh -huh. he de leer el texto nuevamente. Ajá. Pero igual, en la primera parte podemos empezar con, 
con la primera de ellas que dice It's important to be punctual to your office. Esa es una. Sí. The most important is to be punctual. Solo se toman directamente de la... Ajá, esas son etiquetas, o sea, cosas que debemos de cumplir. Es importante ser puntual en una etiqueta. Ajá, esa es una etiqueta en realidad. Pero también está la otra, este de... Esa podría ser una. La otra es esa, que si vamos tarde, if you are late, you had an emergency, that's okay, dice. However, habitual latecomers in every opportunity. Esto de que hay que, hay que llamar. If you late, will be to call the concert authority and report the reason why you are late. Ajá, esa es otra. Sí. Mira, sacando ahí en qué párrafo va. ¿Mande? Sí, Entra en el primero. Bueno, Karen. Karen. Hola. Por ejemplo, es aquí estamos que dice es importante is to be punctual to your offices. Office. Ajá, ese es ese es lo pues una etiqueta, ese es una Ajá. The most Estoy important thing to your office. Un 5. Eh, ese podría ser uno. La segunda, ¿cuál sería? La otra podría ser esa que eh, podríamos ponerle nosotros. If you are late eh, because you have an emergency, entonces ahí podríamos poner eh, would be to call the concern authority and report the reason why you are late. Esa podría ser la otra, o sea, podríamos decir, si ya vamos tarde porque tenemos una emergencia, tenemos que llamar a la autoridad concerniente o algo así y reportar. Otra, que... uh -huh. Esa sería otra. Ajá, pero después de, de emergencia. Ah, ajá. Puede eh, ocupar eh. la parte de abajo, la que dice, would be to call. The concerning authority. Okay, okay, ya lo encontré. Uh -huh. We will be to call. We will be called. Estaba encontrando otra etiqueta. Que obviamente tenemos cara toda el barro. Uh -huh. Eh, por ejemplo, el, 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 como el, el phone, ¿cómo dice el teléfono, teacher? Phone o teléfono. Uh, teléfono, etiqueta en the workplace. Es muy especial o necesario. Sí. Uh -huh. Ajá, esa ya lo encontraron en el párrafo. Ajá, el... el la... El tercer párrafo, ¿verdad? El párrafo está, sí. Sí. Uh -huh. Ajá, en el tercer párrafo de inicio está. Ajá. Uh -huh. Edition. ¿Cuál sería la tercera, perdón? Eh, ya, eh, Carlos encontró en, la ter en el tercer párrafo otro. Sí. Donde dice el phone ticket en the workplace. Is very special. Ajá. Esencia, no sé. Es very essential hasta ahí, ¿verdad? Yes, yes. Me llaman otros ustedes. La, la segunda donde dice etiquette is also important when you have to communicate with employees. Or... ¿En ¿Dónde estás leyendo eso? Bueno, ¿y cuál de todos los párrafos? En el segundo párrafo, second paragraph. Uh -huh. To have 
it's necessary to have good knowledge mm -hmm. of the workplace email etiquette. And ya, 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 ¿Cómo dijiste la última palabra? Countries. Countries. Mm -hmm. Everything, ¿qué dijiste? ¿Qué va a hacer eso? ¿Cómo? Dije, of the workplace email etiquette of the other countries. En el segundo párrafo está eso. Sería eso entonces, ¿verdad? To have good knowledge of the workplace email etiquette. Cuando lleva doble T se pronuncia la T. Etiquette. Uh -huh. Etiquette. O oh, eri uh -huh. etiquette. Etiquette. Uh -huh. In the official emails, you need to mention the subject clearly and be con consigned. O como dijo? Consigned. Consigned. Mm -hmm. Ah, pues también eso sería, ¿no? Yes. Mention so the jobs clearly and be consigned. Mm, yes. ¿Cuál otra? ¿Cuántas van? Tres. Another. Y esta. To include all the important details. Details. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Vamos a poner todo el párrafo. No, ah, y el otro. You should use formal and grammatical correct language for emails. Ah, eso sí. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Eso sí. Mira esa otra. ¿Cuál? Knowledge of telephone etiquette in the workplace is very essential. Knowledge, knowledge, knowledge to the phone, gonna see it. It's very essential. Mm. Siento la etiqueta. Mm, sí, según si nos pasamos en el párrafo, sí. Uh -huh. We have to speak on the telephone at some point during our daily work. Yes, 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 yes. Be polite. Mira eso. Be polite when you talk to your employees or your supervisor. Eso sería la otra, creo yo. Be polite. Be polite. Es en el último. Mm, ya llevamos como 10. <ríe> en resumen, hay que solo hay que decidirnos por cinco. Mm -hmm. For five. Va entonces bien. La primera, the first, quedaría. Um, uh, the most important is to be punctual to your office. Mm -hmm. La primera. Bueno, va. La segunda. The second. Can we please? Is 
it is necessary to have good knowledge of the workplace human etiquette of the country and other countries. Mm -hmm. A ver, ¿cuál era otra? La de knowledge of the telephone etiquette in the workplace is very simple. Bueno, que esa, bueno, sí, sí, sí. Bueno, pero eso está relacionada con la de we have to speak on the telephone at some point during our daily work. Mm -hmm. Está relacionada con esa que dice be polite when you talk to your employees or your oh, supervisor. Okay. Entonces podemos dejar mejor la ya de abajo. Ya llevamos tres. Se podría entonces mejor dejar la de abajo, que dice Be sure your voice is clear when you speak to avoid wrong interpretation. Son empleados. ¿Cómo? Empleados. Ah. Oh, es que okay. se puede decir así employees o se puede decir personal. Ajá, es que me confundo porque cuando hablamos del coworker y todo, entonces me ubico exactamente. Ah, es que coworker es compañero de trabajo. Ajá. Ajá, ese Pero es compañero de trabajo. Ajá. Pero de repente es el Pero... employee. Y ahí me confundo. Eso ya son empleados, al igual que personal. ¿Eso sería como personal o, o puede ser empleado? Uh -huh. yeah. Ahí estamos ya con las etiquetas. Ya. Yeah. Yeah. Como seis. Bye bye. Vamos a Time to cheer. Vamos. Summarize five etiquette guidelines from the article. Who will be my first volunteer to tell me number one? Volunteer? Yeah. Yes, Sylvia. Yes, important is to be punctual. Yes, it is important to be punctual, definitely. Thank you, Sylvia. Number two. Number two, who wants to chair number two? Um, if you are late because you had an emergency, you would be to call to the concerned authority and report the reason why you are late. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Not just assume right now. I will be late. I will tell them when I get there. No, it's call before if you're going to be late. I say why. Nice. Thank you, Karen. Number three. Number three. Number three. Who wants to share number three? Uh -huh. Yes, yes. Number three. Three, 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 three. three. <laughs> A ver. Señorita Sandra, what do you have in number three? Uh, sorry, teacher, but I can't do it. I arrived at home. Sorry. You have just arrived. Yes, but I lost the signal because I passed to the penal la esperanza. Oh, I see. I see. Yes. Okay. Right. Let's see who wants to chair number three. A volunteer? But they have to use a formal and grammatical grammatical language for email. Mm -hmm. 
use formal language, right? When writing an email, and also grammatically correct. Thank you, Claudia. Number four. Me, teacher. Yes, yes, tell me. Be polite when you talk to your employees or your supervisor. Uh-huh. Be polite. Yes. Be polite when you talk to employees and supervisors. Yes. And the last one, number five. Who wants to chair number five? One, one, one. Yes. Number five. Number five, number five. One more. Only one. It's necessary to have good knowledge, knowledge of the workplace email etiquette of another country. Mm -hmm. Especially if you work with other companies, with other people from other countries, right? Or companies from other countries and you're going to send them emails. Yes, you have to know about the, the etiquette of those companies. Nice, nice, nice. Anybody wants to ask something else? One more, no more? Okay. And when we're talking about etiquette, we also have etiquette in the classroom, right? So you see, one of the things you were mentioning is be polite. What happens if you want to act? Right, so you won't like that. You won't go like that, right? And that's what we people do, right? So when you sneeze, that's a sneeze. Or cough, like <laughs> All right, so we have to cover and don't do it on another student, right? On the other one, uh -uh. <laughs> no, on the other. So turn away and use a tissue is excuse me. So you turn like, if there are people on that side, you turn here, right? And of course use a tissue and say, excuse me, we've been at the end. If someone is brave enough to ask a question, don't laugh or make fun of them. That's an etiquette in the classroom, right? Say thank you when someone else does something nice. And another uh, rule of etiquette is use appropriate language. That is in the classroom, right? And I'm giving you these examples. Because later on, you are going to design your own guideline, your own etiquette guideline for the place where you work. And here you have some examples about the classroom. Be organized. Messy worker or messy workspaces can become distractors or distractions. Try to clean your own space often so your clutter doesn't interfere with the classroom workflow. Remember, we're talking about the classroom, right? Okay. That is part of being organized. Another thing, make sure you have a space for storing supplies that must be replenished. Replenish means rellenado. Oye, que renovado, rellenado de nuevo. No estamos hablando de refill, sino que replenish es como renovado. Lo que hacemos nosotros cuando dormimos, nuestro cerebro replenishes, right? Entonces, make sure you have a space for storing supplies that must be replenished. This way, you will know when your supplies are running low and you won't have to borrow. For example, if you have your space for the pencils, 
if you know, you can see that your pencil is getting very little. You know that you need to replenish and get another pencil, right? So later on, you don't have to ask other people to lend you. Another situation. No more. Another question here? No. Mm -hmm. What is the meaning of clutter, teacher? I don't know how to clutter. 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 It says if you have a space, get away. It's a material, but that messy, messy works, workspaces can become distractions. Try to clean your own space often so your clutter doesn't interfere with the classroom work. It's como su, su espacio. Vamos a buscarle la, la complete definition. Y esa es la letra. The clutter is the crowd. O sea, el relajo, pues, que estén bien. Okay. Okay. Y el y workflow. El work, pero el work es el clor. Workflow o cómo fluye el trabajo que está realizando. Por ejemplo, okay. yo he visto niños que si van a ocupar el libro, sacan el libro, doblan el cuaderno, lo guardan en su bolsón. Uh -huh. Terminaron de usar el libro, lo guardan y lo meten al bolsón. Terminaron de usar los colores, los ubican en su cajita. Terminaron de usar tijera, lo guardan en su cajita. Pero hay otros que están usando el libro, tienen el libro, el cuaderno, los colores, la tijera, el borrador, todo tienen fuera todo. Entonces, eso en determinado momento no ayuda con el fluido normal de, de, del trabajo que tiene que hacer porque de repente ups, movió el libro, movió el cuaderno y toda la cajita de colores y lapicero ¡pum! cae al suelo. Porque el espacio es muy pequeño. ¿verdad? Entonces, a eso se, se, se relaja. Se, ¿Cómo se llama? Eso es lo que quiere decir. And when we say that they become distractions, es precisamente por eso. Porque cuando hay relajo, ¿verdad? En un lado, o sea, claro, este relajo puede causar que otros que, tiene, que puedan tener problemas de concentración estén pendientes de que, ay, mira, ya no va a caer. Ya se le va a caer. Ya va a ser un solo tirazón de lapicero por todo el aula. De esto. ¿verdad? se vuelve a un destruction. Es por lo que dice the ordinance. Este es parte del etiquet en the classroom. En una clase presencial, ¿verdad? Por supuesto. No sé si tienen alguna otra question. ¿Qué son supplies? Uh -huh. ¿Saben qué son supplies? No, no, no sé qué. No, no. Vaya, por ejemplo, cuando decimos los supplies, los all the classroom objects son supplies, ¿verdad? School supplies. Son como las cosas que usted necesita justo para la escuela, por decir algo. Entonces, aquí hablamos de storing, ¿verdad? Space for storing. En este caso, storing es el espacio donde usted guarda. ¿verdad? espacio para guardar supplies, o sea, todas aquellas cosas que usted va a ocupar, ¿verdad? Pero hay cosas que no necesitan ser renovadas o reemplazadas, en el caso de replenish. Entonces, estos supplies, por ejemplo, pen, pen, pencil, eraser, the chart, the calculator, de todas las cosas que va a utilizar dentro del salón de clase, pues esas serían las sumas. Y storing, 
es el espacio para guardar. Right? That you have a space for storing, como una cajita, una bolsita para guardar. Yo ando bolsita, a mí las cajitas no me gustan por lo mismo. Que le cae la cajita y chuc, todo se riega por todos lados. Right? Es mejor una, una bolsita. For storing. Entonces, so, storing es, en este caso, es para guardar, ¿verdad? Para guardar las cosas. Mm -hmm. Any other question aquí? No question? Ya no. ¿Vamos bien? Yeah. Ahora, ¿ya vieron este etiquette in the classroom? Hoy nosotros vamos a hacer nuestro propio etiquette. Check. You are the manager in charge of a group of sales agents. Son sales agents. Oye. Que son agentes de ventas. Así se llama en Spanish. <laughs> sales agents. And that you're going to visit another company. And you want to make the best impression possible. Right? You are visiting another company. And you want the other company to see your employees and say, wow, oh, I want those employees, they are polite, they are punctual, they are organized and everything, right? So that's the impression that you as a manager want to get. Then for that, for that you are going to create and present a manual for your employees. Let's think about five rules that they should follow, right? Remember, you are in your company, but you will go to another company. You will visit another company with the group of sales. ¿Qué son los que va a llevar? They are sales agents. agents. No va a llevar la gente pleitista, ¿verdad? O al menos le va a poner en el, en el guideline que no van a ir a pelear con la otra gente, que no van a ir a criticar. Remember, we were talking about gossip last week. ¿Qué es lo que deben hacer? ¿Cómo debe ser su comportamiento allá? ¿Qué cosas deben y qué no deben hacer? cuando van allá a la otra compañía de visita, porque queremos que nuestra compañía se vea bien. No sé si tienen alguna preguntita. Uh -huh. Any question? No question? No. Nice. Bye. Remember, you are the manager. You are the manager va a llevar todo este grupo de sales agents to visit another company. You will visit another company. But you want to be, you want to give a very good impression. Entonces, hágale la guillita. ¿Qué es lo que quiere que tengan en mente? ¿Qué pueden, qué no pueden hacer? ¿Qué deben cumplir para que nuestra compañía se vea? para que no digan uy <ríe> uy esa es la competencia no qué feo. hello teacher Ay, ese, ese, ese. El, llegando vengo teacher había un tráfico horrible uy se seguía de <ríe> me he tardado más de una hora quizás más de hora y media sí, sí. sí teacher no podía pasar Vaya, pero qué bueno que ya esté en casita. Y a ver, ahí la vamos a acompañar que no haya sola en el camino. <ríe> bueno es que ya hay... Vaya, ahorita ya me conecto, ya voy a, ya voy a meter. Excelente. Sí. Vaya, no sé si Cuando tienen alguna preguntita aquí. ¿Question? ¿No? ¿No question? Vaya. Nice, nice. 
I'm oh, going to send you to the rooms. Otra vez lo voy a mover. Para que no se aburran de estar con los mismos. Vaya, let's join. Join. Recuerden, ahí tienen el espacio en el... En el... En el manual, ya lo mencioné. Aquí en the manual, you have the space, ¿verdad? Aquí es donde usted va a escribir etiquette manual. Read everyone in the facilities, por ejemplo. Y de ahí usted escribe en todas las otras cinco. Y aquí le pone etiquette manual year 2022. Entonces, ¿qué es lo que ustedes quieren? Que sus empleados sigan. Aquí lo vamos a escribir. Si se fijan, no les estoy pidiendo un gran párrafo, sino que así chiquito, así como los ejemplos que les acabo de poner. ¿Ok? ¿De acuerdo? De acuerdo, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Ok, yes, teacher. Vamos después. Join, join. Check the invitation. Yes. Ay, los que no se pueden unir pueden trabajar acá hoy. ¿Cuántos habemos? <risa> Yo entendí que te íbamos a hacer que, que nosotros somos el gerente y llevamos un grupo de personas a conocer la otra. ¿De qué? A, a, o sea, la creo que la, la ¿cómo se llama? La actividad es que usted es el gerente y lleva a su grupo de personas a conocer la competencia. ¿Y Ajá. cuáles son las normas que usted, que usted va a ir a dar el, a la empresa? Yo creo que algo así es. Sí, sí, son como las cinco normas o reglas o etiquetas, como le podemos llamar. Para tener una imagen de una mejor imagen de una empresa. Para una buena imagen de una empresa. Exacto. Creo que ahí está la teacher. Exactly, exactly. No lo pudieron explicar mejor. Teacher, Hola, me acabo de conectar de la compu porque el cel ya no trae carga. Creo que me manda para el mismo grupo, por favor. Este me está mandando sí. para el 3 y creo que este es el 1. <risa> este es el 1, ¿verdad? Para ella la uh -huh. para el mismo grupo. Okay. <risa> Y partida, Gracias. media Ceci allá en el 3 y la otra media Ceci en el 1. <risa> ¿Cuál es ese multiverso? Macho, solo Ceci lo puede hacer. Oh. <risa> Vaya, ahí están, son un montón. Sí, nice, nice. Para hacer una cada uno. Sí, y Ceci, ¿qué es eso? Aquí estoy. Ah, vaya. vaya, vaya. Es que de repente así como que por tener la partida se me perdió. Pero ahí está. Muy bien. Pero qué feo le hace la... No está sé si me está, la está, suya. Está bugueada. <ríe> sí. Es <ríe> hacker, ya ve. <ríe> Aparece la teacher en mi cama. Wow. <ríe> Ay, no. Ya me maría con eso. Mire, ve. Se murió. No sé qué le pasó. Ay, está embrujada. Su computador. A ver, a ver, a ver qué hizo. Yo creo que me quedó la trabazón. Ay, no. Ay, no. Mucho anduvo en tráfico que de eléctrica, Cecilia. Mire. 
<risa> sí, mira, me tardaba una hora y media para venir. Sí, qué barbaridad. Ay, no. Eso sí es que... Yo solo les escuchaba en la clase. Che. Hola. <risa> pues, por ejemplo, eh, Good Competition. Sí. Excelente presentación. Ay, sí, puede ponerle hasta cómo quiere que vayan vestidos para que se vean. <risa> ¿Qué vamos a hacer, Ticha? También vocabulario, Ticha. Va a ser un, una guía, una, un guía, es como un manual de comportamiento, podríamos decir. Uh -huh. Un manual de comportamiento. Sí. Digamos de la de la competencia o co como cosas así, ¿no? Es que van a, ir a, van a ir a visitar otra compañía, ¿verdad? Van a ir a visitar ejemplo? otra compañía. Pero usted quiere dar una muy buena impresión. Usted con su, con su gente. Ajá. Entonces, ¿cómo se deben comportar sus empleados? Porque usted es la gerente. ¿Cómo se deben comportar ellos para que usted logre dar un buen, ¿qué? Una buena imagen, ¿verdad? Mm. Yes. Es ante, ante, la, ante la otra compañía, para que ellos digan, wow, esa gente que trajo Cecilia, cosa seria, ¿verdad? <risa> Son otro, otro level. <risa> okay. Bueno, compañeros, no sé, ustedes que han estado. Eh, todos... <risa> Se voy otra vez. ¿eh? Ay, no, a ver qué pasa con esa cama. <risa> Le agarra feo. Está embrujada. Está embrujada, ya me di cuenta. Le agarra no, feo. No es Halloween. Parece, parece sí, ser, a hacer. ser moviendo. No es Halloween, Ceci, es <risa> February, oh, Valentine. Me equivoco de día. Exacto. <risa> Valentine's, no Halloween. <risa> Ay, Parece. Ay. Ay. Pues hagamos la tarea, si no la dice no me va a sacar del grupo y no vamos a hacer nada. <risa> Vámonos ya. Eh. Vámonos ya, dice. <risa> Vaya, empecemos pues. Que, digamos que Carl, eh, no, vamos a Juan, vaya, que sabe más. Yo no sé nada. Va a visitar la compañía. Va. ¿Cuáles son las, las normas, verdad, Ticha? Exacto. Uh -huh. Para dar buena impresión. Exacto, exacto. Uh -huh. Vaya. Juan eh, sería. Wow. Mm. <risa> competition. Para mí sería este, vocabulari. Uh -huh. Vocabulari. Eh, vaya, vamos a anotar la vocabulari. Excelente presentation. Un ser formal en el ejecutivo. Buen trabajo. Pero dígalo más despacio para notarlo. <risa> Vocabulario, dijo. Uh -huh. Good competition. Competition. Presentation. Ah, presentation. <risa> Ajá, ¿cuál otra? Yo hice otra aquí que es larga, que es bastante. Dice: Excellent presentation. Use a formal and ejecutivo. Eh, Word driver. Teacher Use a como. Formal. Hello, teacher. Hello. I finished. You finished. Okay. 
We finished. Finished. Okay, perfect. Oh, and this was... Now we have only two groups. Hi. How are you? Uh, uh, the only the first the employees wear the uniform or the employees must wear must wear the uniform. Mm -hmm. must employees wear the uniform. must wear the uniform. Okay. okay. And the coworkers. Uh, uh -huh. The co-workers is, I, but, but I don't know is is correct to my co-workers when I need help, it is acceptable. When I need help, I, I ask, ask for, for, for them and I, what do you say? Uh, deben agradecer, but I don't know if they should if thank. The, thank. Yes. Thank. Thank. Yeah, they should thank. They should thank. You should thank uh, when other people help you. Mm -hmm. Okay, nice, nice. Another volunteer. What else you have? Tell me another point for your money. A ver, a ver. Um, they should wear in the form of dresses. They should wear, they should dress formally. Yes, they should dress formally. Or as Sandra said, they should wear the uniform, right? If there is no uniform, they should dress up formal. Okay. What else? Yeah, because the good impression begins there, right? What else? Another, another, Cecilia. Be punctual, teacher. Be, Be punctual. punctual, definitely. Be punctual. Yeah. yeah be attentive to people, yes, yes, yes. What else? We have four, one more. One more. They shouldn't, they shouldn't shut in the phone if not necessary. Uh -huh, they shouldn't shout. Exactly. Imagine you are in the middle of the, well, you're visiting another company. You start shouting, right? You talk on the phone and say, hello, say, no. <laughs> right, so you had to be very careful. Definitely. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now let's think great. Those are our etiquette manuals for 2023. Now, we still have one more thing. Remember uh, when we were making polite requests? ¿Te acuerdan de los polite requests? Yes, no. If the polite requests, ¿te acuerdan? Right here. We have uh, five sentences, right? And we are making polite requests. Would you mind? Would you mind answering the phone for me? Would you mind telling your boss that I'm going to be late? Would you open the door for me, please? Would you close the door for me, please? Would you carry these bags for me? Hmm. Okay, so those are just examples for you to look at these sentences, identify three mistakes. 
check the requests. Three sentences are not correct. So we have to find the, the mistakes and then correct them. I'm going to give you a couple of minutes and then we check. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Would you mind making the card? Would you mind moving your car? It's blocking me. Is that okay? Would you mind move your car? No, it's okay. It's okay, right? Okay. Moving. Yes. Would you mind moving? Sí, con would you mind vamos a usar a Angie. You could fill this purchase order. You could fill this purchase order. The order no. teacher is could the, you. Could you, exactly. Could you. So we have to say, would you feel this purchase order? Would you feel this purchase order? Uh -huh. And number three, would you send in this invitation to your assistant? Would you send? Mm -hmm. Would you mind? Sí. sí, aquí tiene dos posibilidades, ¿verdad? Would you send or would you mind sending? Sí. Si usted quiere seguir usando sending, tiene que poner would you mind sending. Sí. Would you mind sending your invitation, this invitation to your assistant? O would you send this invitation to your assistant? Nice. What about number four? It's, it's okay. okay. It's okay. Nice. And number five. Could you come in early tomorrow? We need to receive our a visitors. Could, could you, you come? Could you come early tomorrow? Exactly. Could you come earlier tomorrow? We need to receive our visitors. Questions? No questions? Nice. Now, how do you respond to those requests? How do you respond? Check the options that you have. Would you mind turning the lights on? And the options are no problem, yeah. Would. Number two, could you order something to it, please? Yes, I could. It's it's okay. Could you request more jumbo jumbo paper clips, please? Okay. I can do it. Would you mind getting 10 copies of this report? No, we don't. Excuse me, could you turn down the volume a bit? Yeah, I could. Okay, which is the best option according to what you know about requests, right? How do you respond to these requests? Questions. Questions. Options. Uh -huh. Option. One. Would you mind turning the lights on? Problem. No problem. No problem. No problem. No problem. No problem. Would you order something to it, please? It's a pizza. It's pizza, okay. Could you request more jumbo, jumbo paper clips, please? Right away. Right away. 
Would you mind getting 10 copies of this report? In a minute. In a minute. In a minute. In a minute. Excuse me, could you turn down the volume a bit? Not a problem. Not a problem. ¿Qué pasa si yo le digo, yes, I could? ¿Qué significa? Que hay algún problema. <laughs> pues sí, exacto. Could you? It's a problem. Could you? Yes, I could. Es, no es posible, porque no estamos hablando en este caso de ability, ¿verdad? No se puede. Y en el, en el, si yo le pregunto, would you mind? And you say, yes, I would. ¿Qué significa? Would you mind, to, would you mind getting 10 copies of this report? Yes, I would. ¿Qué significa eso? Que sí, ¿verdad? Sí me importaría, o sea, no lo voy a hacer. Right? So you have to be very careful. Would you mind opening the door? And the person tells you, yes, I would. Eso significa si le importaría abrirlo. Entonces, she or he won't do it. Yes. Any questions? No questions? No. Gotcha. Well. Bye. Now check. This is the last thing we will do today. Um, here we have some salutations. What you have to do is classify the salutations in formal or informal. Are they formal or informal? According to etiquette related to emails, right? Which is formal, which is informal. Si you is formal or informal? Formal. 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 Hey. Informal. Informal. What's that? Informal. 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 Hello, mister. Hello, miss. Formal. 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 Dear friend. Formal. 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 My best. Formal. Informal. Formal. That's formal. Formal. Morning. Morning. Informal. Formal. 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 Ah, exactly. Si decimos good morning es formal. ¿Verdad? Pero only morning es informal. Best regards. Formal. 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 Best regards is formal. Thanks. Informal. Formal. Yes, it's also. Formal. Formal. Informal. Nice. Any question here? No, 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 no questions. Bye. Estaba fácil, sí o no? Teacher. Yes. Nice. 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 Here we go. Bye. Vamos, pues. Let's go. Sharing. No questions at all? For this moment, no. Okay, perfect. When? So, yeah, remember to tell me present right here. Eh, Amanda Yesenia. 
Amanda, present. Present means present. Okay, Carlos Alfredo. Present. Yeah, del Carmen. Present teacher, aquí estoy. Nice. Tesar Antonio. Present. Claudia Ivón. Present teacher. Claudia Ivón, ¿verdad? Jacob. Jacob Alberto, no Jacob. Jonathan. Jonathan. No está Jonathan. Andan celebrando, ¿verdad? Vale. Okay. Van a celebrar a las 12 de la noche. Ok, bye. Eh, José David. José David. José David. No está José David. No. Juan Antonio. Presente. Juan Carlos. Karen Leticia. Presente. Nice, Karen. Carla Jamilet. Carla Jamilet. No está Carla. No, ¿verdad? Eh, Connie, Catherine Bridget, Catherine, Marco Rubén, Minor, Present, Sandra Elizabeth, Present. Silvia Estela. Silvia Estela. Silvia Inés. Present teacher. Y Tatiana Beatriz. Tatiana. No está. Y Catherine Beatriz. Present teacher. Excelente. Bueno, ahí está. That's all the attendance for today. So see you. See you, see you, see you tomorrow. Si me debe algo en plataforma, está a tiempo. ¿Verdad? Para completar. Teacher. Hola. One, one question. Um, Tell me, Ceci. ¿qué, ¿Qué unidad le tenemos que entregar ahora? Number three. Unit three. Hasta hoy tenemos. Unit three ah. llega hasta la tarea 15. ¿Y no se la puedo entregar mañana? Bueno, pero... Ah. Está bien. Solo porque hoy le tocó pesado. Sí. Sí. Pero ya saben, para el otro martes, si sí, me vayan poniéndose ahí al día. Porque okay. el otro martes, sí, ya a las 8 de la noche que ellos revisen, ya tiene que estar completo todo hasta el examen final en la unidad 4. Entonces, ahorita okay. todavía. Eh, no problem. Hoy. Okay. Pues, ¿Quién se queda conmigo ahora? Happy Valentine's Day para todos. Thank you. Ajá, Rubén. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Bueno, see you. Happy Valentine's Day. Thank you.
Bye. 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 Good night. Bye. Good night. Happy Valentine. Ay, thank you. Thank Happy you. Valentine. Bye. Bye. A celebrar a la medianoche. <laughs> a ti, Cher. Tell me, César. Ah, ya que me acuerdo, mañana creo que sí voy, no voy a poder estar, pero no sé aún. Va. Ojalá uh -huh. que pueda, César. Pues en caso, pues, me quedaría como falta, ¿verdad? Sí, fíjese. Ojalá que pueda, aunque sea un rato. Bye. 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 Take care. See you soon. Bye, Joey.